All right, really quick video on the difference between how and why. So we're gonna start with time. Just bear with me here. Right, this is our time, right? And let's say a thing occurs. Thing happens, there. That's a thing happening, that's our thing happening. Now, if you're to ask how, you're asking what's going on in this portion. How is this thing happening? Say you go to pass a hockey puck across a thing of ice. When you're asking how, you're basically asking what's the mechanism by which you're moving the hockey puck. When you're asking why, you're asking what are the events that led up to the how happening? So the why is like, what is the, and this can go back all the way to the Big Bang, whereas the how is what we do in physics and stuff. We basically know the how of stuff happening, but when we go far back enough, why starts getting a little hairy. So how, how do we do it? How does the thing occur? How does the tree grow? We know like there's chemicals doing stuff, but a bang, bang, boom tree. But the why, it's a lot more dubious and it starts getting a lot more hard to investigate. How, why is the before the event happening, how is during the event happening, the actual process, how does it go about? That's basically it. I just, it's a really cool insight and I didn't have a visual representation of why versus how. So there you go, that's it. Take it easy, I love you, Godspeed. I'll see you in the next one, which is going to be in the next couple days about functions. Cause I just did it over on that board, you can see. Okay, and uh, I gotta redo it. Cause it kinda got derailed. So I just did this video instead. But it's gonna be sick. We got a whole, whole series on functions. It's gonna be tropical. So stay tuned for that. All right, take it easy, guys. Be lovely. See you in the next one. Goodbye.